Hey guys, so in this section we're gonna go over how to configure a site with it using a template and we're gonna use the new branch site to configure it. So we start by going into organization, configuring template. With templates you could assign multiple sites to a template so you don't have to create, configure each site by itself. But if anything happened to that site, that template, all those sites will be affected. So there's you need to be a little bit more cautious while you configure it. And there's a couple of features that are not um, not 100% tweakable when you're in templates. Right, so we're gonna configure a template. We're gonna use the the branches, uh, the branch site that we have. So we're gonna like uh, copy the configuration from this branch site to our template. So then it will ask us to which site you wanna apply this template. So we specify it to this site and we just save. Under network and under the templates, we specify that we wanna work on this template. So we're going to divide into three sections. We're going to start with address and VLANs. So MX, MR, and MS. So here we have the VLAN. So, so in this case, you're going to have all of them will have the same uh, subnets, which we don't want. Okay. You want to tweak it. You come here, you specify, let's specify that it's going to be 222 and it's a slash 16. To happen here, Meraki will use whatever subnet is available for each site when you're providing that. Let's say you want to do some policy or different policy for different, uh, and this is not on the Meraki, I'm talking about it, say on the firewall in the data center. You might want to give them different subnets here, alright? So let's say this one will be. Right, so what's happening is here it's going to auto-generate from this subnet and it's a slash 18 which is too big, more than 26. And the guest network we want it to be on the same subnet, okay? So let's save. So this is sometimes it happens, so we just deleted and recreated. And so let's recreate the subnet then. All right, so let's go back to the HCP. And as you can see here, like we've uh, the custom stuff are still available. Um, so here the ranges are somewhat different. So you want to specify, it gives you the option to specify the IP. So let's say one of those from one to five, all right? So I want to save the first IP to the last IP, so that's it. This side to side VPN. So you need to hope that this is going to be a spoke and this is going to be a hub. And here you could specify what you want to enable to the VPN. So you want to enable everything to go to the VPN except the guest network. Although like it says it inherited that, but apparently it didn't. So you see here like the IPs also that the source IPs are, are uh, let's do cancel and come back, let's want it to refresh. So we specified here the subnet uh, 129 slash 26. So let's want to make that restriction. This is what I think. I would say that was the printer. Yeah, the printer subnet. So we just do, you're specifying. So any, so the template will auto generate those for you. Sorry, not most. Uh, This is, let's keep them the same. Tweaking it is still the same as before. By before, I mean as of doing it at the branch level. 
Uh, SSD1 and traffic shaping also, there's not a lot of uh, tweaking there, right? All right, guys, I think that's enough for this section for the um, MX. In the next section, we're gonna hopefully good the switches. Also, guys, please, if you could like and subscribe to the channel, that would be really helpful. Thank you.